Hey folks, uh, Paul here. I'm actually running around today and I'm about to head to a class, but I wanted to give you a little bit of an odd update. Um, my peppers are come along, coming along okay, um, because I haven't had much money or time to spend on them. They've, they're in various states of, uh, of growth and health. But um, I'd say the healthiest of them is my Amazon, which is a fairly large plant at this point. Maybe that'll actually focus in. There we go. Now, I, I've been watching these peppers uh, progress, and they started off looking pretty much exactly like Tabasco peppers, and then have started like widening out a bit, which Roland says is pretty much how they went the first time that he grew them as well. Um, it took about half the season. Now, if you can see here, this one is just barely starting to ripen, and it's one of the smallest ones on the plant. But what really confused me was the fact that right next to this one, which I showed you before, is the first pepper that is actually ripe in any way. Um, it's a lot redder than the Amazon was last time, and I believe, other than the new, the new buds and the new, uh, new fruit, that is the smallest pepper on the entire plant, but it is the only ripe one I have. You can see that it's smaller than my thumbnail. Um, I'm probably going to pick this thing off because it looks just about ripe um, and give it a try. I just didn't expect that one of the younger ones would be the first to develop. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the size comparison. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, I don't know if anybody else has this. I've never actually grown peppers before first season. But anyways, um, that's it. Tiny little update specifically on the Amazon, and I'll get back to you guys soon. That tiny little pepper that I showed you before. This is technically an Amazon. It's a lot more, I don't know, it looks kind of beautifully orange in this, uh, on this little camera, but yeah, it, it, it's, if I remember correctly, it's more orange and more red than the Amazons that Roland actually sent me. It's also tiny, which you can see. It is minuscule. Now, um, I believe at the beginning of this or in another video, there should be an update about this little pepper on my Amazon plant, and now we're going to see how hot it is. Oh, it's so juicy. Oh my god, that is hot. I packed way more of a punch than I thought it was going to. Now, oh, hiccups. Oh, that was a juicy little pepper. I was talking to Roland about my idea that his Amazons had gotten crossed with the Tabasco which was resulting in the longer and smaller peppers that I was seeing on my plant which are from seeds that I harvested from the peppers that he sent me <gasps> wow um, it doesn't quite taste like I remember the Amazon tasting to be honest, that tastes more like a Tabasco, but I'm going to reserve judgment on that until I have some of the larger peppers that are fully mature. We'll see what those taste like. Either way, I have a buck ton of them out there on the plant. I'm looking forward to making something with these because they are really, really juicy. Like, I wish you could see it. I don't know if you can. Nah, it's not going to focus that close. Eh, 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 not a chance. But there's actually like a good drip of like pepper juice in the end of the stem right there. Um, good burn. I'd say that the burn is similar to the Amazon. Um, that's about it. So this is Paul for In the Hot Seat eating what I think is an Amazon pepper. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Peace.